Hi guys! I have another time lapse video for you, and this is one I honestly didn't think would ever get made, so I'm really happy to be making it. Anyway, it's an 8x10 acrylic done on a Frederick's Green Label Belgian linen canvas with Liquitex and Amsterdam paint. When I come back, I'll tell you a bit about how this painting came about, but for now, here's how I did it. You can read all about what I'm doing here in detail in the blog post that I made about this painting which I'll be linking in the description. As you'll see, I skip around somewhat between the squirrel and the background. I use a liner brush and different mixes of grays and browns to make tiny details in squirrel's fur. For most of the leaves, I use a mixture of deep green permanent with zinc white, and zinc white is a transparent white. I use sap green for the leaves that are up in the shadowy areas. I glazed transparent yellow medium on the bottom of the these leaves. I also mixed ultramarine blue with transparent yellow medium to make a yellow green, and used this color to paint the leaf in the far right hand corner. To paint the golden portion of the squirrel's fur, I used a combination of burnt umber, yellow light hansa, transparent middle red, deoxazine purple, and zinc white. Just the yellow and the burnt umber was too muddy, so purple kind of toned it down a bit. The red helped to brighten it. What I'm trying to say is when I first mixed the yellow light hansa and the burnt umber together, it looked too yellow, so the purple helped to tone them down the yellow, since yellow and purple are complements. As I'm recording this vo voiceover, I'm getting the idea to make a video just on complementary colors. I made a whole video about c color theory in general, but I think complementary colors deserve their own video. I had a lot of trouble with the leaf in the upper far right hand corner. I pretty much ended up repainting it. But it was worth it. For part of the squirrel's fur, I actually mixed deoxazine purple with zinc white to make a lavender color. Which might sound strange, but I actually do use a lot of colors in my work that you might not expect. I made a video about this concept called I Use Lots of Colors. I also used a mixture of zinc white and deoxazine purple for the rocks in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so I've already made that video I said I was going to make about complementary colors. I'll put a little card up so you guys can watch it. For the tail, I mixed the same color of golden brown that I'd used on the rest of the body. I mixed more brown and red into it to make a brownish color. When I got it onto the canvas, I thought it was too brown, so I started glazing yellow and white over it. So here you can see I'm just finishing up the tail. I've gone over it with some more layers of burnt sienna, and then I'm going over it with gray and putting more burnt sienna over that so it's more intense. Okay, so this is technically a zoo painting, but it's not of a zoo animal. When I was walking through the San Diego Zoo one day, I think I was actually on my way out, there's a squirrel on the sidewalk. And I got down where it was, never shooting anything for a painting, you always want to get to its level. If it's something that's taller than you, you may want to stand on a step, or if it's something small like a squirrel, you want to get down, so that's what I did. And I took my phone and I started taking pictures of it, and eventually I got it standing still long enough that I was able to get the picture that became the painting that you just saw. And because it happened to be near some palm branches, I titled the piece Squirrel Among the Palm Branches. Thank, thank you so much for watching. You can see time-lapse demonstrations of my drawings and paintings, as well as art-related vlogs on this channel. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if that sounds good to you. You can click this button here to subscribe, and I'll see you all again Wednesday with another video.